tell us one word that would describe Montana, what would, what would it be? Home. Life. A happy place. Cool. My place to grow.
My name is Julia Carlson. I'm the head of student life here at Institute Montana. Institute Montana has a great location. We're set in the middle of nature on the top of the mountain, yet we're really close to a little city called Zug. So we literally have the best of both worlds. We have a total of three boarding houses, two for boys, one for girls. They're all within a short distance of each other and they're surrounded by sports grounds, tennis courts and a lot of nature. Our location on top of the mountain gives us an advantage when it comes to safety. Children can roam freely with nothing to worry about and they're also in a very healthy environment. The motto, my place to grow, means for my team that we guide our students along the way of becoming independent, responsible young adults. to hereby declare the MMUN 18 conference on the topic of defining human dignity, migration in a globalized world, as officially open. It's indeed a great honor and pleasure to be here with you today. Some 20 years ago, I was actually sitting in your seat. I'm definitely bringing back memories with my classmates and with other people that I've discovered at the Montana Institute conference and I'm bringing back more insight onto the topic of migration as we had to research it and do some active research especially uh, I had a Central American country so I have more insight as to how that part of the world views uh, the topic of migration so more knowledge and memories definitely. The one compliment will make to you would be that it is set in a beautiful place um, and the view is breathtaking and it is well organized. And I think uh, the people in general, everyone is awesome. Uh, everyone tried to take part in the conference and this is something we do not often see in uh, this type of conferences and so I would like to thank every delegate for taking part in this conference. Generally the high level of debate would be a guide. The, some conferences you attend people, there's, there's quite a disparity in how people view the the topic. We were a very small conference, but I think they curated the schools properly so that we were on a, on a, on a same level and it was, it was enjoyable and it was stimulating to talk with other delegates. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. I come from Venezuela, Spain, Greece, Kenya, France, China, England, India, Poland, Germany, Brazil, Greece, Russia, Germany, Ukraine, Lebanon, Armenia, Finland, Canada, Switzerland, Lebanon, Syria. I come from Italy. Hello. My name is Michael Kverder and I'm the uh, principal of the International School here at Institute Montana. My role at Institute Montana is to be the principal of the International School. I'm also a member of the senior leadership team and I teach German as a native language. The program of the international section here at the International School of Institute Montana is a vertically integrated curriculum, which means that we offer the CLSP, the Cambridge Lower Secondary program, followed by the IGCSE and the IB Diploma program. The first three years, six to nine, are in the Cambridge Lower Secondary program. The uh, grade nine and grade 10 is IGCSE. And in the last two years, in grade 11 and 12, they are on the IBDP curriculum. The personal support program we run at Institute Montana is a very strong one. 
which means that children coming in from abroad whose uh, English is not on the level required to follow easily in the English language courses and in the courses in general, we apply different language courses, EAL courses in English, but also in German to learn German, which is the Goethe program. And in every subject uh, kids might struggle in, we apply immediately help for them. We also have extracurricular activities linked to personalized support, of course, and also the subject ateliers, which are freely accessible to all of our students in case they have question, subjects related questions, or if they want to do homework, supervised homework, or just know more about the subject. We support our students to succeed. This process already starts when we hire personnel, teaching staff. So uh, our teaching staff is deeply and generally committed and motivated to bring our students forward and to help them acquire 21st century skills. Uh, for example, that they become very excellent inquirers, critical creative thinkers, problem solvers, versatile communicators, very caring human beings and also, most importantly, lifelong learners. If our students need additional help, we apply uh, different kinds of, uh, of measures. So for instance, we have study hall, um, we have no gaps in the, in, the, in the timetable. If they're free, so to speak, they go to study hall and are supervised there to do their homework, for instance. We have nightly studium, two hours of studying before lunch to make sure that they all do their homework and study for their exams. And a new offer from this year is the subject ateliers where they can go to and, uh, and get help in case of uh, subject related questions if they want to do homework uh, in a supervised uh, manner or if they want to learn more in a term in subject. Now, if they need additional help, of course, we have a lot of support teaching also going on. We have class advisors in charge of an, of an entire year group and the head of programs are also very strong in tutoring our, our students. And of course, the college counselor who then makes sure that each and every student can go to the university of their dreams. Our students attend a wide variety of universities. It's interesting to see that uh, our international school with the uh, IB diploma, um, students access different top universities all over the world, in Switzerland or abroad, even Ivy League University in the United States. Montana difference in many ways from other schools. First and foremost, we are in a spectacular location here on Zuckerberg, right in the heart of Switzerland, in a green, healthy and secure environment. Our school is a small school, it's about 300. In the IS, in the international school, we have about 130 students coming from all over the world. 40 nationalities are represented amongst the students and the staff members. It's a very family-like, small class-focused uh, boarding and day school and we are strongly focusing on the individual help of our students. On behalf of all our students, all our staff members and myself of the International School at Institut Montana, I'm saying goodbye and hope to see you soon here at Institut Montana on the Sugerberg, right in the heart of Switzerland. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Anne Fossen and I'm from Chicago. My role at Institute Montana is that I'm the head of the IB Diploma Program in the International School and I'm also a teacher of higher level IB Biology. The IB Program is a very challenging academic program which also builds the students um, holistic program as well. So it's not just about learning subjects, it's also about developing the person. So the students engage in a research project called the Extended Essay, CAS, which is Community Activity and Service, and also Theory of Knowledge. And these are courses that really build on the character of the person, as well as their academic knowledge. So distinctive characteristics of the IB program at Institute Montana are that we have very small class sizes, and the students are engaged in taking subjects that they're really interested in. Um, the students have been counseled before they enter the IB program for their subject choices. We're looking at what are their end goals, what are their university or career goals, and we counsel them already in grade 10 for making those subject choices. Um, we really cater towards the individual. 
both before the IB program as well as during the program. At the end of grade 10, they enter a pre-IB program, which we call the IB induction. So after they finish their grade 10 examinations, we already start working with them, building the skills that they'll need for the IB Diploma program. They get exposed to the coursework. They get to know what they are going to be doing the following fall. So at Institute Montana, we're kind of like one big family. It's a very dynamic group because we are coming from so many different countries. So the students coming from 40 different countries, teachers coming from more than 20, it makes for very interesting discussions. Um, because of the small class environment as well as the um, small groups in the boarding house, we're like a family. And I see this carrying on, not just when the students are at Montana, but after they graduate. But they're able to really find their place here. And they just rise to the, to the occasion and they're, are able to pursue something that they've always dreamed of and reach their goals. And that's what makes us really proud. My name is Simone Bourbon and I'm an English teacher at Institute Montana and I'm also English as an Additional Language Coordinator. My role at Institute Montana is very interesting. So when students apply to join our school, um, they have to complete a writing placement test and I assess that alongside other report cards to see where they should be best placed in an English class or in other language classes and then I make recommendations for support or recommendations to boarding and um, I liaise with admissions department to ensure that the student has a good um, arrival at Institute Montana. So the language programme, all lessons in the international school are taught in English um, from grade seven all the way through to grade 12. But all students, uh, we encourage students to keep studying their mother tongue. Some we have fixed classes or we may need to arrange private lessons. Um, they also, all students learn English and another additional language once their English level has become proficient enough for them to learn an additional language. So all instructions in English. This international environment just really helps the students in the fact they have to speak English every day. Um, they may not have a friend or, or someone in their class who speaks the same language, so they have to communicate in English. They have to communicate in English in boarding if they're a boarding student, also with students and with teachers. I tell my friends it's the best place to work in the world, actually location-wise, because it's on the top of the mountain overlooking a beautiful lake. Uh, we're surrounded by green fields and cows, um, and it's very quiet. It's above the hustle and bustle of the town. It's a, it's a very, very special location. Students have to walk between buildings, but that they get to enjoy. And from just two steps outside the building, you're in beautiful, beautiful nature and countryside. Students grow academically, but not only academically. They have to grow spiritually a little bit by doing um, CAS or service projects. They also learn to get on with other students from all over the world. And so they grow to be more tolerant. And I think they also grow just in themselves as people. Just they come to accept themselves and others more readily. And so they grow to be, I hope, open-minded citizens and good students with a very strong future ahead of them. Привет and hello, I'm Lloyd and I'm half Swiss, half Russian. Um, I've been at Institute of Montana for four and a half years now. I'd currently just finished the IGCSE program and I'm going to start my IB next year. The IGCSE has many benefits, mostly that it prepares you for the IB program really, really well. And the IB program is a really good program to have when you attend to international universities. Um, what brought me to Institute of Montana was that I tried some other private schools in my vicinity and in Canton Zug and I tried the public school but none of them really managed to facilitate my needs properly and none of them really suited me well until I came here and I felt at home. Um, the biggest difference would be that I feel comfortable here and that the school is more international. There's more people from all over and also because it's a boarding school and none of the previous schools were it's got more of an international feeling to it and more of a mix of cultures. 
There is no real typical day at school as it's very varied. There's always something going on. So you can just have normal classes which are also fun with the teachers that you like or you can just have a good time with your friends. I think one thing that I learned most was respecting other cultures and learning to work with other cultures and live side by side with other cultures. As in my previous schools it was always people from the same places and not really that many people from outside of Europe. It gives me, gave me like the important skill of being able to communicate with other people and understand other cultures. Institute Montana means a lot of things to me. I suppose most of all it's just a facility to learn, but more than that it's a community where I make bonds with other people, I get to know the teachers, and it's a place where I build a home away from home really. One of my favorite memories would be after the first half of my IGCC art exam, my art teacher, Mr. Legate, he prepared a barbecue for all of us and it was just all of the art students sitting together in the art room after we cleaned up, just eating, like, good, eating good food and just having a good time. I mean, I've changed a lot since I joined Montana to now and I suppose I've become more mature and just more respectful. I see the idea of growth not only in age but also in knowledge and just that people become more adult and they just change when they come here for the better. Jai Shri Krishna and hello. My name is Ananya and I am from India and I am a student in 11th grade at Institute Montana in the international section. What brought me to study at Institute Montana is that it's listed at, as one of the best boarding schools for IB in the world. I was extremely scared starting this new experience away from home because this was the first time I was going to be away from my friends and family and I knew no one here. Studying at Montana makes me feel more balanced than I was in India because in India you're full of academic pressure. Over here you learn to manage the pressure along with extracurricular activities. Boarding life is completely different from day school life because you essentially live with your friends. I realized that I made so many more friends because I had a fresh start. I learned to be much more confident than I was before. I'm not shy to stand up for my opinions and I, I could just change my attitude towards things or have a new attitude or perspective over things. I again came here from an Indian international school so I did not know that international schools otherwise had such a diverse culture or community. So as soon as I came here, I learned about all these different nationalities in one class. And even a general conversation between friends was so educative. And that's what made me come to Montana. Institute Montana has become a family for me right now. It's bizarre, fun always interesting and most importantly diverse. Hey and hello, my name is Jacqueline and I'm from Sweden. Uh, a boarding student is when I live at the school, so I live here full time while my parents are in Sweden. And while I'm here, uh, I like being here because then I have more time to study and for my friends because I can't imagine going back and forth from school into school if I lived here. The community is really nice. Every time I need help with homework or anything like that, or just mental support, they're always here. The other kids and the house parents. Uh, a house parent is someone that is supposed to be someone else that steps in instead of your real parents while you're here. So if you need help with something or an advice, they're always here for you. In Sweden, everything was more laid back. Here, I feel like it's a bit harder, but at the same time, I'm developing more. And I feel like now I, I'm not scared when I see, oh, I have to do an essay. I feel like it's the easiest thing ever. But in Sweden, I would, like, I would think it was the hardest thing ever. 
If you're considering a studying in the University of Montana, I do advise you to be a boarding student since it's really fun and we do fun activities during the weekends. And I would just advise you to come and see because it's, you learn a lot of new things and there's a lot of great people here. Namaste and hello, um, my name is Akhlesh and I'm a student at Institute Montana. What brought me to Institute Montana was that my parents found jobs in Switzerland and this seemed like a very promising international school. The difference uh, between a uh, school in the UK and uh, Institute Montana, um, from my own experience, is that Institute Montana is far more uh, intimate in terms of how uh, everyone in the school is connected in one way or another to everyone else. Uh, whereas in the UK it's far more um, very uh, closed off, you stay within your own grade pretty much. Uh, what's m most impacted me uh, when at my time here um, is likely the way the teachers interact with students. It's um, much more friendly and open and uh, it's helped me progress much quicker than um, usual uh, in my studies because uh, the teachers in the UK were far more closed. Uh, th there wasn't much interaction between uh, teacher and student. My favorite memory at this school uh, is not actually at this school, but it's with the people uh, of Institute Montana. We went to, um, on a charity trip to Romania, um, which was uh, very eye-opening in terms of how much we uh, need to help people in need. A typical day at school is uh, very regular. Uh, we have work and breaks periodically. Um, after every lesson. In the morning we have a 20-minute cocoa break and lunch time and uh, after, after about two hours after lunch we get to go home. The way I've changed over the course of these two years that I've been at um, Institute Montana is that I've become more of a globally accepting person. Um, it's not like I was, I was uh, not accepting before, it's just that I'm, I can understand perspective far, uh, to a far greater degree uh, than of different countries than I did previously um, and I think that's helped me in becoming a more uh, uh, compassionate person as well. Sziasztok, hello everyone, my name is Boton and I'm from Hungary. I'm in 12th grade in Institute Montana and International School. Institute Montana means a lot to me, definitely means more than anything happened in my life so far. The fact that I was the captain of um, the football team helped me a lot to prepare myself for my future, for example, and for the things I want to study in the future. And sports gave me something which improved my grades, for example, or just helped me to relax. And I got to know many other people in the school I didn't know before. What I learned is that everyone is different, everyone has different perspective of the things. For example, in the team we were, I think, 11 or 12 nationalities and everyone had a different opinion. But at the end we worked together and I think I got the team together well. So we became actually like a family, I would say. My parents got a job opportunity and I needed to choose to stay at home in Hungary or move to Switzerland and then we found this school and I came here for one day and I started to like it the first minute I came up here and then that was my first choice to come here. I was really scared because uh, when I came here I had very little English and everything was new, uh, new friends, new home I would say. Um, but at the end it came out, it was really good, it was a good experience and right now I don't want to leave. Yes, I'm graduating tomorrow and I'm a bit nervous about that because this whole experience here will end and I don't want it to end. But after Montana there is other life I hope and I'm applying to England um, to study sport management in this last three years I learned so much from Montana and from my teachers and the whole community here and yeah I think it it was a life-changing experiment for sure.
Здравствуйте, my name is Victoria uh, and I come from Russia. I study at Institute of Montana in international section. Um, I just finished my sixth year. It feels amazing. The time passed by so quickly. For the past six years, I basically came to the same environment. Uh, and now I'm a little bit sad by leaving um, this place. The proudest moment of being in Montana was by finding out who I am, just uh, sort of building a character because um, I, come, I came here at 12 and obviously I was a kid and um, now I can realize that I became more confident, I became more social by just living and socializing in such an environment. Instead of Montana is located on a mountain called Tugerberg, so we have a wonderful view on the Tug Lake um, and on the Tug City. The location also is very, very nice because uh, we had to take only a few public transports to get down to to Gorzurich. Uh, we have a funicular uh, going down which takes around seven minutes to go down to Tug, which is very fast. The location does help with my studies because uh, it's uh, very quiet on the mountain so if you want to have some quiet time you can just go for a walk here or you can just study in the room by yourself. Uh, I'm planning to go to Webster University which is located in Geneva. Um, I picked this university because uh, it is also a private uh, university in English, which uh, is really similar to Institute of Montana. Yes, um, I'm planning to stay in Switzerland um, because I really love the country. Uh, I love the, the mentality and uh, the quality of lifestyle. <laughs> My favorite memory is um, it's going to be the view for sure as one of the one of the best views I've ever seen um, but also the social life because uh, I became more social and uh, I found many friends all over the world now they will they will live now all over the world and um, the community is really amazing here Welcome to one of the highlights of this academic year, the graduation of the International School at Institute Montana. If you do something with a smile on your face, it's going to be great. Moving to Montana was great, I made great friends, teachers were amazing. I enjoyed my studies, I enjoyed my football. I'm so excited because like, I've been waiting this for so long and now it's finally the day, so I'm really excited. You know, I, I'm leaving my home. This is no longer my dorm. It's, it's not my room anymore. And I hope if you're um, in Montana or coming to Montana, you can treasure your time here um, to think of it as a home and then have the best of yourself. I feel a bit sad because um, this chapter of my life has lasted for almost 12 or 13 years. So I was always used to going to school, being in a very safe environment, and now I'm heading into the unknown world. So my advice to them is that they should not forget Montana. It's a place to grow. Anytime they are welcome, it's their home. Karibu sana, hakuna matata. Grüezi miteinander. Willkommen am Institut Montana. My name is Ralf Spani. I'm the principal of the Swiss Gymnasium and the Bilingual Secondary School. 
The benefit of the Swiss Gymnasium is a, a very uh, high level education and you have, after passing the Motura exam, you have the, the possibility to, for a free entrance uh, to the Swiss public universities. So also international students can uh, enter in the Swiss Gymnasium, the earlier the better, because the, the language integration of High German and French is really important. We can't avoid that. We have a bilingual program, of course, but you have to, to be good in German and French. The biggest challenges are the, the language integration, so that they understand enough of German to follow the classes. So we give them time, we support them with Goethe or Delft fast track classes. They have to reach uh, B2 level upon the European reference framework to, uh, at the end of grade 9 and the A2 level in French at the end of grade 9. This is possible, we have good examples who have shown that this is not impossible. Most of the students attend Swiss public universities, also top universities. Uh, in Zurich we have University or ETH, we have, we have the, the, the business school in St. Gallen, for example, or also international universities. In, uh, in Amsterdam we had one student going to Amsterdam or to Australia. The world is open. Yeah, to attend the Swiss gymnasium we take uh, uh, it has to work hard, someone has to work hard, has to be curious and uh, also there are opportunities they can help here. That is important to know, just take this help uh, and the school supports you to reach your goals. I wish you goodbye, I hope to see you soon on the Zuckerberg at the Institut Montana. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Annika. Hello, my name is Annika. I go to the School of Institut Montana and I attend D2 of the Swiss section. I got to Institut Montana because my father, he moved here because of his work and they were, my parents were looking for a school that offered me a bilingual education and this was just the best school they found and it's also very special because it's on a mountain and it's excluded from everything else but it's also individual which is very good about the school. Before Institut Montana I studied in Germany in Berlin um, from Berlin Süd and it's a very big difference to this school because this school it features you as a student not as you as a class and it really sh makes you be yourself and you be the best you you can possibly be and in my old school it was basically just the class which they featured and the class which they had to have the best grade and not you as a student. The biggest challenges of the Swiss section is probably the amount of work you have to do and in the amount of time because you get a lot of work in every subject, you get homework, you get tests, you get projects, they're always due in a very short amount of time because they just want you to get your work together and just work and just do the best you can, which is probably the biggest challenge because you have to organize everything into a week or two weeks and you have to get everything done and that in a good amount of time and good grades. Okay, so a typical day of school looks like you go up with a Saban, which of course itself is already special, which makes school very special, because not every school is located on a mountain. So we go up with a Saban and then, well, we go to our different classes and we have school all day. And the school also offers activities for you to do after school. For example, you can do activities privately, so singing or guitar or any other instrument, and you can also do science and technology and um, activities in your class. I would describe Institute Montana as a very individual and special school in many ways. They offer you a very special education that promotes you as a student, and they also offer you activities to widen your horizon. <laughs> Au revoir! Goodbye, schönen Tag noch. Привіт, hello. 
My name is Helen and I come from Ukraine. I've been studying in Institute Montana for six years approximately and I've been doing the bilingual Swiss Matura program. The bilingual Swiss Matura is a diploma acquired through higher level of Swiss education, so following the Swiss program, and allows you to get into Swiss universities directly, but also gives you an IB certificate proving a higher level of knowledge in English. With the Swiss Bilingual Matura, I have developed critical thinking. I can now look at my surroundings, media around me, news, and I have a better of understanding of what is actually behind the media. And I have a better of the understanding of what authors think when they write. How do they actually write their books? How do they write their poems? What do they actually want to say? And why are their messages important? In the Ukraine, we haven't had the attention from our teachers that we have here. So with 30 students in a class, you had to push um, through the classes yourself. And a lot of times I misinterpreted information. I, I had questions that I couldn't ask the teacher because there was no time. But here with me having, what, seven classmates, I have enough time, my classmates have enough time, everyone gets the attention that they need. And it also allows us to work more in groups and communicate better and help each other out as well. With the help of my teachers, I am above C1 level in English and I can read and write fluently in German. So after graduation, I will be going to the University of Zurich which I dreamed of going to. And now with the Bilingual Swiss Matura, I can actually get in. And with the knowledge I gained from business, finances, Swiss law and economics that I've studied at Institute Montana, I will advance in banking and business at the university. My name is Nicola Magaldi. I'm the head of the Bilingual Secondary School. The secondary schools prepare our pupils to move either to the Swiss Gymnasium or to start a vocational training with or without professional baccalaureate. For the international students, the secondary school offers the, the advantage to get fit in the languages, in German and in French, and then to move after two or maximum three years to move then to Swiss Gymnasium. The challenge for the international students is certainly the multilingualism. So they have to learn two new languages, German and French, which are, the, which are two of our national languages. And then they have also to cope with um, an other curriculum system based on competences. But afterwards, the benefit is that they can follow um, lessons in these two languages and to do a Swiss Matura, a Swiss Baccalaureate, which opens uh, the doors to the Swiss universities. We do the experience that international students are very committed and that they want to achieve these goals. And so we think that you, at the end of this school year, about 40 to 50 percent of our students will move from secondary school to Swiss Gymnasium. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon at Zugeberg in our bilingual secondary school.
Hi, my name is Julia and I'm 12 years old. I'm from California and Singapore. I attend to the bilingual secondary school in seventh grade. Well, when I moved to Switzerland, I needed to look for a school. And I think part of the reason why I came here is the view and that we just get to do a lot of things outdoors, especially in the primary school. And I also really liked that it was bilingual because I wanted to learn some more languages like German because I only spoke English and French. And I thought learning German would be really cool. And so I came here. I think studying at Montana um, helps my German level because I have lots of friends around me that speak German and they encourage me and help me speaking German and I also have lots of German lessons and my teacher is very good and she's very helpful and encouraging to me. My proudest moment here is was actually a few months ago when the, when the grades came because I was on the honor roll and I was very proud and I also was put into the mother tongue German class. Well, there are a few things I've changed in. It's obviously my language um, and also I, I really love art and this school helped me get better because my teacher, my teacher now, she really helps us and we really get to do the things that we like and what she's taught us are all my weaknesses so I've improved in them. Well, for me, um, it is a place to go because it's a school, so you're learning and the teachers are helping you and you grow into who you are. From the lessons, you can see what you're good at and you just improve on every, in everything. For me, it just means like the place where I have all my friends, where I learn, where I can do many activities that I love. Montana is a place where I enjoy going each day to school. Okay, so um, my name is Angie and I'm, I'm studying at the BSS 8 at the moment, which is a combination of international and gymnasium. Um, yeah. So the reason why I come to Institute Montana is because I love the city too and um, it's beautiful and and people are nice. And second of all, it's like um, the integration of languages and culture as is located in the center of Europe. And you can meet a lot of people and can learn a lot of languages. You can also know more about cultures, which is very important for an international school. And the third reason why I chose this school is because um, it has a lot of activities I can do after, after school and um, they also organize trips to other countries which I see is very important and it's quite fun to hang out with friends to another country and stuff, yeah. Uh, it's like uh, the school normally starts at 8.10 which is not late, we have time for having breakfast and dressing up so ourselves like pretty well and the school ends up at 3.20 in the afternoon normally and uh, which means you can manage your time later by yourself completely. Um, and the school also provides after-school activities, uh, which is um, compulsory for the students on their 10th grade. I chose uh, three activities, um, MUN, um, running, and um, tennis, which I see is like pretty relaxing after a studying day, yeah. Uh, the thing has uh, like impact me, uh, impacted me the most is like um, the language curriculum. I couldn't speak any languages except from Chinese and English um, until I come to Switzerland. I learned another more languages and German and French for me is like really meaningful and useful. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of differences. Um, between Montana and uh, the Chinese school I used to study in. Um, we have more free time, obviously, and we also have more um, 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 opportunities to go outside of the school and explore more. And we also have uh, better facilities for investigation and also for art, for sports and for everything as in general. So like the most valuable things for me I've learned in Montana, 
so far is cooperation. As people are from different backgrounds and different nationalities and different education, so and people all have different ideas. But、um, as we have a lot of projects and we have a lot of activities, it brings people together and communicate, and we can. At the end, we can always work out something very good. Like we can make a product, and we can also discuss an idea and stuff, which is pretty excellent.、Um, my best memories of the mall is when I'm socializing with my friends.、Um, I just had my birthday last week, and they sang a birthday song for me at lunch. Like after everybody stood up and sang a birthday song for me, which. Like which really made me really happy, and I felt I'm a part of this big family. It's really good. And the proudest moment of them all is like、um, I came here with no German and French, but then after one year, I already got the German B2. After I got the certificate, I feel so proud of myself, and I would appreciate the help from my teacher and also my classmates. Yeah, it's a beautiful place and a very A good school with a very good education ideology. So, if anyone wants to come to Montana, I would say come. That's a very good decision, as you can be a part of this very big family, and you could be extraordinary. And that's the place where you can fulfill your dreams.、Um, yeah. There are three departments in our school.、Uh, one is gymnasium,、uh, one is、uh, IS, and the other one is BSS. BSS are for the people who are not, who haven't decided yet which department they want to go in the future, and I'm one of them. Um, because I haven't made made up my mind whether I want to go to a university in Switzerland or I want to go to other university like a university in America and something else. So I stay in BSS. As eighty percent of my curriculum are taught in German. Um, and my French lesson is taught in French. English lesson is taught in English. So I hear people speaking these languages every day.、Um, so my listening kind of improved pretty fast. And as you have these、um, a lot of discussion in class, it's very good opportunities to practice your oral skills and stuff. Yeah.、Um, I would say I've learned a lot of study skills, including my time management. Because as I first came to the school, I I've said before, like I've no experiences for the other two languages, and for me, it's quite busy at the beginning. So I started to start my missions from、um, the earliest deadline to the furthest, which is very important. It's like it's,、um, I sign up for the after school class. Where、um, when the teacher gave me one-to-one、uh, -one support according to my level, according to、um, the stuff I could accept at the moment,、um, I received French support and German support last year. But now I don't need any support anymore. Yeah.、Uh, my free time, I do MUN and running and tennis. I the reason why I like MUN is because.、Um, It brings people together and discuss some very contro controversial questions and problems at the moment, like a global warming,、uh, human trafficking. And、uh, this, these questions seems to be far away from our life, but that's still a good opportunity to like really communicate and try to solve the problems, which will be probably solved by us in the future. Yeah. 再见 Um, auf Wiedersehen. Um, au revoir and goodbye. Yeah. Um, that's all. Gehen Sie hinaus und leuchten Sie für die Welt. Ich wünsche Ihnen dabei von Herzen alles Gute. Also die Welt ist in Veränderung. Sie lebt viel schneller. Es wird ein bisschen vergessen, dass das ja unglaubliche Möglichkeiten darstellt. Sometimes you may have been on the brink of losing hope and also faith in yourself. Yet in pushing yourself beyond what seemed a limit, you have reached new heights that you never thought possible to reach. 
Through all these experiences, you have discovered new facets of yourself and of who you can be. Ich wünsche Ihnen, dass Sie immer in denjenigen Filmen erscheinen, worin Sie sich gerade wohlfühlen und möglichst wenig Momente, in denen Sie sich im falschen Film wähnen. Ich möchte wirklich alle danken, dass, dass für diesen Support und ich finde, dass wirklich alle, also wir alle Schüler, diesen Award eigentlich wert sind. That it may seem that I always tried to help people and that I was a force of, I don't know, work, help, anything. But really, it, I just channeled it from all of you, from all of my classmates who were always there for me. Sorry. For all of my teachers who always supported me. And for all the staff members and the house parents and just everyone at this school who believed in me as much as I believed in them. Thank you. Wohin auch euch der Weg führt, ihr seid immer herzlich willkommen hier oben und ich würde sagen, alle Wege führen wieder zurück auf den Zugerberg. My name is Heidi. I'm an admissions coordinator at Institut Montana. I mainly take care of admissions in the Swiss section and we cover the whole procedure from when the family first contacts us until their child actually becomes a student at our school. The Swiss Gymnasium is the high-level high school in Switzerland. Uh, only about 20% of Swiss people uh, go to the Swiss Gymnasium and the diploma, the matura that they get at the end of the Gymnasium gives access to any Swiss university including ETH in Zurich. International students can attend the Swiss Gymnasium. Admission into the Gymnasium however is very strictly regulated by the Swiss authorities and requires a minimum German level of B2 Goethe, according to the Goethe Institute. So that is the main challenge. Um, also, the uh, French and English are also compulsory subjects at the French Swiss Matura. So the students who haven't had those languages before need a lot of support. And to get access to the Swiss Gymnasium, they can first attend our Swiss secondary school where they have three years time to catch up with their languages while attending classes both in German and English and then if their German level is high enough and if their grades in all the other subjects are sufficient they can make the transition into the Swiss Gymnasium. In the past few years we've had students from many different countries including Mexico, China, Russia who successfully obtained their Swiss Matura However, there are several factors that are important for uh, success. Uh, the first one is, of course, that they have to be very strong students in all subjects, so including maths, social sciences, natural sciences, and obviously languages. Uh, then they have to start learning German as early as possible, ideally no later than sixth grade. And then they also have to enjoy languages, since German is the main language of the whole program, but there is also uh, French and English as compulsory subjects. And finally, they have to enjoy speaking foreign languages, because at Montana we value internationality very highly, and being willing to speak foreign languages helps the students integrate into this international environment. First, the families get in touch with us. They send us the school reports of their child from the past two academic years. And we figure out which grade they would be applying for in which section. And then we uh, 
check if we have a space in that cohort and then we invite the student for a trial day where we also run some tests, uh, general assessment tests but also specific uh, in languages that the student will need um, to be successful in the relevant section. If the student is unable to come in for a trial day or for a trial week, we uh, run an interview via Skype and we also uh, sometimes get the opportunity for one of our co admissions coordinators to meet the family abroad. And then we also run all the tests uh, online. And uh, after that, we have a committee with the director of the school, with the sections principals, with the teachers who were involved in, in, that, uh, in that trial or in, in that cohort, and with the admissions coordinator. And all together we decide whether the student can be admitted to our school based on the school reports that from before, their performance during our trial and also their social uh, behavior and how they integrated when they were here as trial students. You can write us an email, phone, or you can use the uh, contact form online or contact us via Ocomo or WeChat. Goodbye, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, hasta luego, arrivederci, zaitzie. <laughs>
Once upon a time, there was a mountain. And high up there, there was a school with a very special summer camp. There was never a dull moment up the hill and everyone was always having fun. In the camp, there were kids from more than 20 nationalities. Some were born athletes. Others were artists. There were superheroes. As well as rocket scientists. But the special thing that united them all was the friendship that they will carry on happily ever after. Perfectly, not at all, or 